Alignment is a very tricky term because of how it's used. I want to make sure that everything's clear. I'm not talking about your car or truck, and I'm not talking about ducks in a row, but I am. Bear with me. When people are talking about alignment, what they're talking about is how close are you to doing what it is you want to do and what makes you feel good about doing. When they're talking about alignment, they're talking about doing things that touch your soul and communicate to yourself are the ways that make you feel the most you when you express yourself that way, when you are doing the things that support those mindsets, those behaviors, when you are in alignment with your goals, when your deeds match your words, match your thoughts, that is alignment. I want to do this. Okay, we got to start. I am doing the things that it takes to do this. I am in now in alignment with my goal. I'm in alignment with what I am looking for. I am moving forward. We take this to another step. We talk about the words we use towards our alignment. We don't say, I want to be. We say, I am. There is a big difference psychologically in how we tune ourselves to a moment. Spiritual development, self-growth, is very much focused on how we align our mindsets with our values, with our spirituality, with our mental health. All of these things play a role in alignment. When I say mental health, I'm not saying people that have conditions, things like that can't be in alignment. That's not true. What I'm saying is we have to pay attention to how we are interpreting the world around us, the people around us, how we are interpreting ourselves, our own emotions, and how we are in turn expressing ourselves and those emotions. Being in alignment is not just doing the things that you're supposed to do. Being in alignment is doing the things that you are supposed to do and understanding that it will make you feel better because you are doing what you want to do. I don't want to drag in the arguments of the surreal world versus reality, our lives of intent versus what we deal with on a constant basis. Yes, you do still have to work. You do still have to deal with society to a point. You can set yourself in alignment with a life that does not include that. However, you have to accept the situation of that life and work to make it fit what you need and put yourself in alignment with the reality of the situation and the reality of how you have to move forward. I work a 40 hour a week job, plus take do all the Faywood Grove stuff and YouTube stuff and Trebisovo stuff and there's a lot of stuff I'm doing and I'm in alignment with all of the things that I want to express my soul, my emotional and my mental health. The other part of alignment is that I have a job that pays the bills so I can do those things. You have to maintain the tools that the universe gives you to remain in alignment. You have to work with what is presented. You can't go, it's all just going to fall in my lap. You can't depend on that. It does occasionally. I'm not going to say it doesn't. However, the way it does that is through making the work, making the steps, doing the things. All of these things are what it takes to become in alignment. What are the benefits of being in alignment? The benefits of being in alignment are you feel good. You feel like you have a purpose. You feel like you are directed. You feel like you have a goal. You have a way to help. You have a way to impact. You have a way to drive yourself forward. Be refreshed by the energy you put out. That is being in alignment. Feeling the universe being and your role in it. It is an ultimate act of centering because you have your role, not only your place in the universe. These things are not easy to do because we fight against them. We, we're, we're told constantly, well, you can't do what you want to do. You got to do what you got to do. Well, you can do both. I'm a Gemini. I always take that route. You can expand because you're not limited by anything but your own desire and your own time and resources. 
how much effort do you want to put forward? And I'm not saying that you should sh shame yourself in any way because you're tired or anything like that. We're all tired. We're all going through a really tough r time right now. There's a lot of problems financially, politically. There's all kinds of issues. None of these prevent us from setting the life we want to live and beginning the path and working towards what we want. My last moment on this comes down to the simple fact that you have control over it. There's a lot of things that will work to pull you out of alignment, to stop you from feeling in line, in tune with yourself and the universe and having that mixture of the connections resonating against each other. It's, it's an alignment in the soul of the energy, all the bodies, all the eyes, they go woof. It is a way to experience the world that is empowering in a way that you cannot understand until you start down that road and you start feeling yourself getting in alignment. Getting in alignment requires focus, energy, and intention. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Morgan Horman. I'll see you soon. May the love of the Lord and Lady be ever in your hearts. Praise be to Pan and blessed be. Peace. Have a great day.